in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to a very sad edition of what I call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper and the host of this program known here on social media. I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty. Uh, Angel Snup Nup 7, I am your soul brother, number one. This is a very sad day for me. And I wish that it would be more joyous. But it's not. And I always want to be forthcoming with all of you out there in YouTube land who have supported this ministry perhaps since its inception in 2007. The bad news I want to announce is that I must cancel Soul Liberation Day 2022 because of my health issues as I've talked to us about it before and according to sources that health issue is getting worse <clears throat> I was listening to a broadcast by Sister Noble, and there was a Leah uh, lady we call Pork Chop and Nandy, and they were laughing and make mockery of my health issues. And of course, wishing me death. So, Sister Noble knows my health issue. She has posted my uh, residence on the internet. And she has allowed these people to read my book for free. And also, she has told them about my health issues. All of this, of course, is illegal, and we are dealing with people who have no morality, who are willing to cross all kinds of lines so that they can benefit, legal or illegal. They have no integrity they have no they have no um character so i want to tell you my story straight from the horse's mouth <clears throat> I don't want you to be sad. I don't want you to cry. It's just a reality. <clears throat> well, hmm. Sister Noble has already told these people because she knows. So I might as well tell you straight from the horse's mouth. I am dying from 
cancer. I am dying from cancer. I was listening to these women and because they know that I'm dying from cancer, they can talk about the signs. So they say, look at him. He's always wiping his mouth with that towel, that handkerchief. I have been going under radiation therapy and chemotherapy and the radiation has destroyed my saliva, my uh, salivary glands. So my mouth is very, very dry, but then it can get very, very wet. So I have to wipe my mouth constantly because I have no control of my glands anymore. I heard them say also that on my latest videos, I look terrible. My, I'm shriveling up. And I am losing extreme weight. This is because they know. This is because they know. My skin is, is, is because of the uh, radiation. My skin is, is, is peeling. It's peeling. You might notice I might, I might seem to be getting uh lighter in skin color because some of my skin is, is actually peeling. They know my health problem so they notice this and they want well they know that I'm dying so it's just a matter of time and I don't know if I would be here for Soul Liberation Day. My energy level is getting very, very low. The cancer is in my uh, digestive system. The cancer is in my bones. And my doctors say it has also entered my brain. It has entered my brain. <clears throat> and so it has been determined that once the cancer and the radiation therapy is not really being effective, <clears throat> I have to accept this reality and I want you to accept this reality also. There is mucus in my lungs <clears throat> and my doctors say if it continues, the actual cancer may not take my life, but I might suffocate during the night because of the mucus. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> because of the mucus 
that is constantly forming in my lung cavity. Of course, I'm not on my deathbed right now, but I, I just want to. I just want to make a deathbed confession. And I want to say to them, it has never been my intention to hurt them in any way. I'm sorry for anything I've done. I think that it's wrong for you, Sister Noble, <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's wrong for you, Sister Noble, to give these people my address and you allow them to read my autobiography and you tell them of my cancer. I know of your health issues, but I do not bring those health issues up. Black Sun told these people your personal health issues. I did not say anything because it's not their business. And there are certain lines, regardless of how angry I get, there are certain lines that I, I, I can't... Uh, I can't cross. I truly feel, Sister Noble, you was very dirty. And anybody messing with you, if they see that you can reveal people's personal, private information, why would they trust you? Because when you get angry, you're going to turn on them. And this even goes to the people that you're dealing with. If this woman will tell and share private information with others because she get angry, she's going to do the same thing to you, right? I mean, that's common sense. But that's my that's not a problem for me anymore because this is this is the end. So I have no interest in coming to Atlanta. I I am at peace. I accept the reality of what has happened to me. I'm not interested in coming to Atlanta. I'm not interested in those things. In fact, you can see my my wrist. I just uh, not too long ago came from the doctor and every time I go it gets worse and worse. So I just wanted to bring that to us. And I don't want you to cry or feel sorrow. But I would hope that you would con continue this mission that we're on. <clears throat>